MMAweekly.com, Damon Martin here with manager extraordinaire Ed Soares. And Ed, you're a busy man this weekend because obviously Jose Aldo is fighting, but the big news came out a little bit ago. Leota Machida is getting a title shot against yes. John Jones in Toronto. Uh, talk to us about the conversation you had with Dana White when he called how this all came together. It was pretty simple. Dana called me last night and said, hey, uh, don't say anything, but uh, would Leota accept a fight against John Jones December 10th uh, for the title? And I said, yes, but let me check with him and I'll get right back to you. I called Leota. He was at a friend of his birthday party. I uh, called him, asked him before I could even finish the question. He said yes. I called Dana back. He said, I'll get you the bout agreement. He sent me the bout agreement, signed it, and sent it back to him this morning. Um, I know, you know, you. when I talked to you on the radio show, you said people blew out the the whole situation about, you know, Leo just saying he wanted Anderson Silva money. People blew that way out of proportion. Dana even said last week, he's not angry at Leo Machida. There was no, you know, anything between it. Does this kind of prove the fact that there was never any, you know, bad intentions between uh, the two? I, I think it proves. I, I think it proves it definitely. I, I definitely think it proves, you know, I definitely think it proves uh, that there wasn't any problem. I mean, I'm sure Dana was a little bit bummed because he was in a bind and he really needed Leo, but there were there were more reasons. It wasn't just the money issue. There was a lot of, there was a lot of things that you know when, when you look at when you look at the situation Leoto was taking the fight in three weeks but it wasn't just taking the fight in three weeks it was Leoto's elbow he was just finishing a physical therapy on his elbow two of his three cornermen didn't have visas to get in the United States um, you know taking the fight on three weeks his elbows not hundred percent recovered so when you, when you hear when you see all these different things that, that, that were going on with them you know when you look at his sure dog record three months from now three years from now five years from now and if he was to potentially lose that fight then you know there's no explanation next to the loss that he took the fight his cornermen weren't there his elbow was messed up you know it, it's just basically um, it just it's just a loss so so unfortunately you know um, people took that out of proportion so he just said hey if I'm gonna take uh, all these risks it needs to be worth my while and it just got you know expressed to the media differently. Let me ask you this, because they say everything happens for a reason. You know, had he taken that fight in August, you know, maybe he couldn't even be ready in December. Who knows what would have happened. Totally. Here, now he gets a title shot where he got to, you know, he does a favor for the UFC. I mean, do you kind of look at it that way, that this actually worked out really well in his favor? It did. You know, everything does happen for a reason. I was all for a Leoto taking that fight with Rashad, believe me. I would have loved to see that happen, too. But you know what? Everything does happen for a reason. Um, we know a lot of people have said Leota Machida style-wise is probably the toughest matchup for John Jones in the light heavyweight division. Everyone kind of saw this fight coming at some point. Now we get to see a little sooner rather than later. Uh, just stylistically, I mean, do you do you kind of believe what people are saying? Leota is the toughest matchup for him. I, I, I do believe that. Uh, take nothing away from John Jones. John Jones is uh, just an incredible athlete, uh, an incredible fighter. Um, very, you know, very, but but he has, I don't think he has the experience, and I don't think he has uh, the technique that, that uh, Leoto has inside the octagon. He, the guys that he's fought in the past like to stand in front of him. Leoto likes to move around. So it's a different type of fight. I think it's going to be a great fight, and it's definitely a fight people won't want to miss. You know, I, mean, I believe leoto has got all this... Uh, tools to be able to beat John Jones. I know Leota really, you know, hated losing that title, and he's really worked hard to get back there. Um, do you feel like when he steps in there, I mean, with the training he's been doing, and I know how motivated he is, that this is going to be the best Leota Machida we've seen? I believe so. I believe, uh, God willing, he, this is going to be the best Leota uh, Machida people see, and, and hopefully Leota is going to be able to bring back that belt to Brazil. Last question. I know uh, this just happened, but did Leota express you know anything about his training camp? I know he's worked a lot in Brazil. Will he work in the states, or have you guys we're, discussed we're not that sure yet? Yeah, but it could be a, a mixture of both. Excellent. Thank you, Ed. All right, man.